What's up guys and welcome back to another beautiful day here on the island. It is nearly midnight on our 36th day. We're about to tick over to that 37th day that we've been out here. And uh, man, I feel like things have never been better. So you guys know in our last episode, we really focused on upgrading our rafts. We've had that tiny little thing for quite a while and it was time that we upgraded and got something a little bit bigger. So we've got this giant mega yacht container ship, whatever you would have called it. You guys can see we can carry up to eight crates on it and then carry an additional nine on our person, which is awesome. And we're gonna put that to use today. We're gonna get out there. We're gonna visit some new islands, dive some shipwrecks. We're gonna have a great time. I've already got this thing loaded up. So you guys could see here, we've got some smoked meat so that uh, if we ever need any food, we can just go ahead and use that. We've also got a water bottle, a clay bottle that holds up to five servings of water. So that's great. We also have our sleeping bag, two aloes, and two shark repellents. I think we're gonna be out here for a couple of days, so those should be worth it. We've got a knife and an ax. We can make more as we get there, and then all of these are just open for us to be able to put stuff in. Now, if we go back this way, I just wanna let you guys know what's going on with the, the home base. It's been about 48 hours since we checked in with you guys. I just kinda... That was weird, the game froze right there. But uh, yeah, it's been about 48 hours. I just kinda cleaned stuff up here at home. I got the farm working, which you guys can see here. Everything is fully watered, and we even have taters on each of the new spots. So this is making potatoes. These are gonna grow into healthy little spud plants, and uh, that's gonna help us make fuel for our future engines. We've also got this kuwawa fruit. We've got our aloe and everything going good. So everything here is perfect. We actually haven't picked this fruit in a while. So we can probably grab that and use that as some food on our journey. Uh, in terms of over here, these are all of our crates left over after we don't have those eight. So we're gonna fill up our inventory with those once we get the chance. Uh, clay hasn't really changed or anything, but you guys can see we did get a ton of coconuts on our last trip. We got a ton of new wood on our last trip and we got a ridiculous amount of lashings on our last trip. So overall, things are looking really, really good. Like we we are in a good spot right now. We have pretty much everything we could ask for. We've got food. Oh, check this out. I went out fishing for an entire day, got us a bunch of cod and all kinds of other stuff like that. You can't really tell because it's nighttime, but that is a mound of food right there. We aren't gonna run out anytime soon. So yeah, overall, things are looking super solid. I'm gonna drop that. This cooked small meat is probably gonna end up going bad, but we don't really have a use for it right now, unfortunately, I guess. I think it's all it's all cooked too. There's no smoked in there. Yeah, dude. I mean, that, that kind of sucks. We can save these as a snack. These will give us food and water, but we're gonna have to eat them first. And uh, I think we're gonna get going very, very soon. I think it's gonna be better to to get going early and make sure we get there before daybreak. So that's that's exactly what we're gonna do. We are going to that second ring, so it's gonna be a little bit further away. The one thing I did wanna do, which I feel like might be kinda stupid, but it's also gonna be kinda fun. Uh, wait till you guys see this. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab four sticks. Three, four, looks good to me. We need a, um, we need a hammer. I'm gonna pick up our hammer here. Then we're gonna need two lashings, and then we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're gonna make two cloths on our loom right here. So let's go ahead and make a cloth, and then a second cloth. All right, so what are you making, Trev? What are you doing? Well, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. It's gonna look cool regardless, but obviously adding in a bunch of new surface area on our raft has slowed it down a bit. So we are gonna add two additional sails to this bad boy, if it even lets us. I have no clue if it's gonna let us. So let's go to, uh, let's go to vehicles. We're gonna go here. We're gonna try to build some new sails. It wants to. Oh, nice. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Boom, right there, all right. Can we put one over here as well? It wants to, but I'm wondering, I kind of feel like the edge of this might be blocking it. Let me retrieve the anchor and let this thing float for a minute. I I think, yes, we've got three sails now, dude. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> that is glorious. I can't wait to let those things fly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and we're not, we're not gonna be able to make that jump. I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna drop off the hammer, probably eat those couple pieces of meat just because why not drink some extra water because we're almost out of or we're, we're out of a bar of water and um, I mean, I, I think I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and drop that. Where's that meat that we dropped? We've got three pieces here. I mean, we might as well just eat it because it's going to go bad either way. 
and then we can come over here. We can drink a little bit of water, and I think we're good to go. Let's grab nine of these boxes here, and we are gonna be off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, actually, we're gonna be diving wrecks and stuff. We we probably don't even want, we probably don't even want that. Hold on a second. I'm gonna grab like, dude, with how many wrecks we're hitting, I'm just gonna leave, I'm gonna leave our, our stuff open. I'm gonna, I'll grab, I'll grab two. I'm gonna leave our, uh, I'll grab three. We're gonna, I'm gonna leave our inventory mainly open because we're gonna be picking up new boxes as we go. Honestly, I've, I'm, I'm gonna drop them all. There's no reason to bring crates with us because we're gonna find more crates. We're, we're gonna be fine. Plus we already have quite a few on the, uh, on the thing. So we're good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save. We're gonna get out of here, man. This is gonna be good. We're gonna venture out some new islands, you guys know. So far in that second layer, we've checked out Treasure Island and Reef Island. So we're gonna go out there, we're gonna check out all the other ones that we haven't seen yet. It should be a good day, should be a good time. Looks like we've got uh, 3 a.m. on the watch right now, so it's gonna start getting light here pretty soon. We're honestly getting a later start than I thought we were going to, but that's just fine. So here we go, anchors up. Sails out. I'm not sure if that's gonna give us any more speed or not, but here we go. I'm gonna point. Well, what in the world? I think we hit a. I think we hit a rock. Okay, this is off to a great start. And now we're off. We, we're we're back at it. I think the fact that we had the 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 no floor on that, it got kind of stuck in there. But anyway, uh, we're gonna head towards Primo. So you guys know we went past Primo to Treasure Island, and then we took a right from there. So I think this time we're gonna go left. So we're gonna go go to Primo and kind of see where Treasure Island was. We're gonna go to the one to the left, which should be somewhere out over here. I'm not gonna go straight, straight there because I don't want to get lost. But um, yeah, we're gonna make a, a counterclockwise circle and see what we can find. So this one right here is Treasure Island that we're looking at. I think that's the one to the left of Treasure Island. Now, I, I'm just, I'm a little bit worried because obviously when we get out here, when we're in like the middle rings, like it's gonna be hard to tell if we're going farther out or staying within that ring, you know what I mean? I I don't know, it's, it's gonna be interesting. We're just gonna go for it. We've gotta keep our eye on Primo here and then that's, that's home. I believe that is gonna end up being, uh, what's it called? That is, is not Primo, that would be Shipwreck. So, I mean, hopefully we could just keep in touch with the landmarks and not end up getting lost. I wish we could look up at the stars and be able to tell. I wish there was some sort of a mini map or something. I feel like that would actually ruin the fun of it, but it's just very easy to get lost out at sea if we end up jumping outside of the second ring and we end up going further than we intended and then we're two islands away from home and we have no clue how to get home. I'm just, I'm trying to avoid that situation. I also just realized we did not bring any spears with us, which is is not good. But yeah, we're, we're gonna go straight here. We're gonna see, this one looks like it's a little bit smaller. It doesn't even have a giant rock on it, which is interesting. Oh shoot, we also should have brought a pickaxe, dude. Why didn't we bring a pickaxe? Ah, uh, we could probably end up making one if we really need to. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna venture out to new lands. Should be scary. Can I already see a big boat off to the side? That's kind of cool. Oh shoot, see there's an island out there, but that looks like it's farther. That's not really to the left, that's that's farther away. Dude, this is all gonna start just meshing together. It's gonna be hard to tell. We need to make sure that we don't forget to make like a, a water filtration system on this side of this island so we know which way is home. We always have to remember which way is home. That's the most important thing. Looks like we might actually have three shipwrecks out here. One, two, and then a third over there. I don't know, dude, if we fill up all of our crates and we could go home early, might as well. Dude, this is sketch. You can hardly even see Primo now. This makes me very, very nervous. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull in here. This one's kind of cool. I kind of like this. There's no big rock. This reminds me of our home island a bit. All right, so we've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this back. Let's try to make sure these stay organized as possible. The meat we can keep in there, pretty much everything we can keep in here for right now, but we're gonna grab these and then we're gonna grab our sleeping bag. Oh, we made here just in time for a storm. Let's go ahead and drop the anchor just in case. And then we're gonna go ahead and save. All right, so, I mean, this, this is Jungle Island. I can already tell you that. It's got a lot of fibrous leaves and stuff. We need to look for rocks. And then we also need sticks to be able to make spears to hit the snakes with. Cause there are inevitably some snakes out here. What's up little buddy? You're kind of a cool little boat. I'm excited to hop on you. Dude, wow. I think there are five boats on this island. You guys see this? We definitely saw two up front. 
And I'm seeing a lot more out here. It's kind of like I suspected. I'm pretty sure the farther out you go, the more stuff you get. So this, I mean, this, this is going to be a great island for us. Watch out for the snakes. I'm going to go ahead and make a, a couple spears. I mean, do snakes, they even like an island like this? I hope not. Oh, there's a rock formation, dude. Rock is the most precious resource in this game so far. We are definitely gonna have to make a pickaxe. Shoot, this is, this is gonna be tough. So I think first things first, we just wanna go ahead and chop down a tree. Let's get a little bit of wood and then get some palm fronds to be able to make our, our little water collector system. Water is going to be the hardest thing to find. We could easily make a fishing spear or whatever else. Uh, we definitely need to look and make sure there are no snakes here. Let's get the palm. The palm bunch is more important than the wood. Need to make sure there are no snakes here. Uh, I, we're not going to, we need to find pigs. We're not going to be able to make a pick without pigs because you need leather. So that was really stupid of me not to bring that. We can always come back for it later. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. All right. So we are going to make um, a water still. So we need a coconut thing. We need a lashing. We need three walks and we need a palm frond. Okay. So we need one coconut and then we need two lashings, three more fibrous leaves. I'm really nervous to go into the interior of this island. The good, I feel like the snakes usually stick to the outside and I haven't seen any yet. So that's overall very good news for us. All right, we've got enough for this. There are crabs everywhere too, dude. So good source of food. Okay, so like I said, that's that's our home island over there. So we are gonna go ahead and craft a water still. Oh, we need our lashings. We need that. And then we need, we're gonna make another one. And then we wanna make a, we wanna make a, what's it called? We need a coconut flask. We could put that down. And then if we drag this stuff over here, we should be able to make the water still. What are we missing? The rocks? We need the rocks. If everything's in front of you, you should be able to make it. So boom, water still looks good. Go ahead and uh, collect some of that water for us, please, from the rainstorm, and we're good to go there. All right. Um, I guess let's go ahead and save. Let's drop off everything that we don't need so far. We're definitely gonna wanna keep those. We'll drop off the wood for now. We'll drop off this rock for now. Drop off the, uh, we, we're fine. All right, we're going in. We're looking for snakes. We are looking for snakes. We've got koala fruits out here. I mean, the thing is, is we had no snakes on our home island. So I'm wondering if islands like this that don't, dude, there is so much rock out here. That's a mineable resource too. We should have called this rock island, but we're gonna keep it forest island for now. We're definitely gonna be coming back and, and bringing our, our tools. Unless we go to a second island today and then we can, can come back on our way back home. That could work too. I don't wanna jinx it, but I feel like this is like a beginner island. I feel like we don't have to worry about snakes here. Something about that is saying that to me. I hope I'm right and I don't have a heart attack here in a few minutes, but I guess we'll have to wait and find out. This was in a very unfortunate spot, dude. Trying to get these leaves from out of this thing. This is, this is rough. I can't even see them. They all fell in the bushes. Okay, well, that's good. Um, we hit the three yuccas, definitely pineapples and stuff, uh, not pineapples, I'm sorry, coconuts. Coconuts have become increasingly important to us for making all the salves and, and mixes and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick all these that we can because we probably won't come back to any of these islands. That looks good. Um, let's do another run around the outside. You know what, screw it, let's, let's go diving first. What's in this? Tarpon that, nice. How much room do, we don't have a lot of room right now. Shoot, all right. I'm gonna grab what we can on the way back and then we're gonna go diving while we have the daylight. I say we go for our first one right over here, right back by the raft. That way we can grab this stuff and then quickly drop it back off. Oh, there is a poisonous starfish right there. Gonna watch out for that. Looks like we've got some buoy balls. Those are always nice. We've got a crate here with some good parts in it. We'll grab that. I'm gonna come down here, check the locker. Air tank, clutch, got that. Anything else in here? No, I don't think so. Now with this, we can go ahead and open these up and luckily the buoy balls you can actually, oh shoot. The buoy balls you can actually pick up unlike the the tires and the barrels and everything else. You can't pick those up. That everything. Sometimes I feel like we run through these ships pretty quickly. Oh shoot, watch out for that. That could have been bad. My voice just cracked a little bit, but we're good. All right, so that was a good haul already. I like that. You guys know I always like saving just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna come up over here. Let's just drop everything. Drop the flare guns, drop this. Drop that and we're good to go. I don't even think we need the ax, but let's just keep going. So I say we go to this shipwreck next. Are there any smaller ones? Sometimes the little small ones are harder to see in the water. Dude, there are so many on this island. How much time do we have? It's one o'clock already. I hate that, dude. I really hate how fast the time changes. I wish you could like keep the, oh, there's clay right here, dude. Why don't we have our stupid 
pick. Oh, that would have been clutch. See what's in this bad boy, we'll take it. Looks like we've got some electric parts in there. We can open this up, we've got a compass. Compass isn't really gonna do us much. We probably won't use that, but I'll pick it up anyway. Not seeing anything on the back side of the ship. Another compass and some cloth. Nothing back here, nothing up here. All right, we're gonna go. Let's move on to our next one. Your boy's got options out here, man. This is awesome. This is probably my favorite part. Look at this. More clay. Are you kidding me right now, dude? I, I can't believe how stupid we were not to come prepared. All right, so we've got these buoy balls we're gonna grab. We'll come up here. We've got some rations and stuff. We've been saving those rations that we've been finding everywhere and we just like, we don't ever use them. Please no sharks. Yeah, luckily we haven't seen any sharks yet, but now that I've mentioned it, it's probably gonna happen. See what's in the console, nothing. More of those. I don't even know what you use flare guns for, gonna be completely honest. So we've got a full inventory. We've got a couple more wrecks to check. I'm gonna run back, drop our stuff off, and so uh, we're gonna try to hit one last couple wrecks before, before sundown. Oh, shoot, dude. You know what? Well, this one's above the water. If there were any other ones below the water, I was gonna run straight to them. I think we may be fine. Yeah, we're good. We could hit the one above the water, no problem. It's just when it's under the water, that's when it makes it tough to be able to see and stuff. So here we go. Let's, um, this timing's gonna be perfect because it's gonna become sundown. So then we're gonna be able to like get our hunger back under control, get our water under control, that sort of thing. Take a, a you know, inventory and make sure we have everything good to go for tomorrow. And then we can just straight up sleep, wake up and go to our next, our next spot. So this is gonna be perfect. Unfortunately, I don't even see, oh, we can jump up right here. I was gonna say, I don't see how we're gonna get up here. No, we can't jump up right there. We may, I think we're gonna have to pull the raft around. That's unfortunate. I don't like that. Okay, so pulling this raft off this island is disconnecting all of our things here, dude. Oh no, that is really not good. The problem is, is I've heard this game gets a little bit glitch. Oh, so I was trying to drag the raft off the beach when the anchor was down. It was beached, so I didn't remember that the anchor was down and we knocked a lot of our things loose. That's all right, I'm just trying to, uh, oh shoot. Okay, let's let's drop these, drop these fellas, drop these, we're, we're overkill right now. Uh, I'm just trying to hit this thing before sundown, so I'll, I'll fix that at sundown when we have nothing better to do. So let's go ahead and drag this raft in here, and ideally, this will give us the ability to hop up. There we go. Okay, so we can open this up. We've got tires back here. Not gonna use those, unfortunately. There should be a place to jump up here. We've got this, which has got good stuff. Then in here, we've got another engine part and some more parts. All right, looks good to me. I need to, uh, I need to get this thing back out. Hopefully there are no starfish anywhere to be seen. We're gonna bring this back around. We're gonna reorganize everything, get our food and water under control, and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. Well, I think we're all good to go. I've got everything organized. This is the stuff that didn't make the cut. We got eight buoy balls. Two more, we're gonna take up a slot and not max it out. So I'm gonna leave those here. Flare guns, torches that aren't, uh, aren't unlimited, stuff like that. I don't think we need any of this stuff. So overall, we're looking pretty good. We already got five new crates. That's why I didn't bring any with us, but um, things, things are looking pretty solid. All right, so let's go ahead and retrieve this anchor. Last time I didn't retrieve the anchor before I started pulling on it and it messed all of our crates up big time. The crates are a little, a little finicky with this situation. Sometimes they tend to come a little loose but uh, overall looking pretty good here. Go ahead and raise these sails. Raise all three, looks good to me. Oh my goodness, we almost just jumped off of that and we're gonna be fine. So um, that right there is pr Primo, I think. No, that's Primo, That that's Treasure Island. That's Primo, we're going over here. See, that, this is where we gotta be careful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go get in line. Oh shoot, there's another island over here. Which one do we wanna go to? Oh man, dude, this is tough. So we need to leave like basically a trail of breadcrumbs. So this, this is Jungle Island right here, which I honestly, I really appreciated the fact that there were no snakes. I really highly enjoyed that. Good for you, buddy. I, 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 I appreciate it. I actually don't even know if we made it all the way out to this this shipwreck out here, but this was Jungle I Dude, I'm getting turned around. This was Jungle Island, and whatever is built up on Jungle Island is gonna lead us back to Primo, and then Primo's gonna lead us home. So I'm gonna go get in between Jungle Island and this island. We're gonna build something here, and that's gonna lead us back to Jungle, which will lead us back to Primo. 
which will lead us back home. So this is getting a bit sketchy, but I, I think we're gonna be okay. I actually do think we hit both of these. Not 100% sure, but I think we did. All right, we've got a shark on us. He's creeping somewhere, I can hear his music. That's fine though. So we're gonna go hit this thing straight on and leave our trail of breadcrumbs. So this one has a giant rock on it, which makes me think we're gonna have snakes here, which makes me a little bit nervous, but we're gonna be okay. Dude, this is, this is, we are really getting out there now. There's one over there. Oh man, this is where like the world has opened up so much. It's a little bit confusing I almost feel like we need to make that gyrocopter so we can get up and get a vertical view But then I don't know. I don't know how much fuel that's gonna take I don't know how efficient that is. I feel like it's probably not gonna be that efficient, but we'll we'll see We'll, we'll work on that in future episodes. I think after all we get all these engine parts and stuff I think we're gonna be in a position where we can probably start building some some engines anyway that back there is jungle. So we're gonna build something on this side of this island so we know how to get back to jungle. I'm trying to keep it all straight in my head. It's a brand new day, 5.47 a.m. Looking pretty good, dude. Nothing but uh, a little bit thirsty and that's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and lower all three of these sails. I think I'm gonna go ahead and drag this guy up. Um, I'm expecting snakes on this island. I'm hoping there's not, but I'm expecting them. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay these bad boys out. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this bad boy as well. Let's go ahead and save. We would honestly, I mean, let's do a quick run for snakes, but we're gonna be smart to go look for the shipwrecks while we have daylight. Now that I think about it, we also wanna make sure we kill the snakes while we have daylight. What's up, bro? Yo, post up, post up. Uh-huh. Got him. Is he dead? He's dead. There's another one. Where at? Y'all see him? Ah, I see you. What's up, bro? Post up. Call me Quick Draw McGraw. Got him. There's no way we just took two snakes out that fast. I almost don't believe that's all that's going to be on this island because of the fact that they were both right there together, easy to see. I'm going to go grab our knife, which I think we kept our tools over in here because we got to get ready to go to go snorkeling. Yep, there it is. Let's grab these. Um, I mean, that was just about best case scenario. This was like a gift from the gods or something, dude. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna make sure we skin these snakes so they don't scare us next time we come around, but then we're gonna wanna get into the, into the water here very quickly. We've even got a little boar over there, so we could make a refined pick. We're gonna, how do you make a, um, hold on a second. What do you need? A tan, we could make a tanning rack, so we could make a refined pick and hit that before we end up going back home. We could get all the rocks from the last island. Dude, that, I mean, if we get some good, some good action in these wrecks here, that would be the ultimate, the ultimate win. That'd be the ultimate day. That's gonna set us up. We're gonna have all kinds of stuff to be able to build engines and stuff when we go back home. We'll have tons of rocks. This guy, I, it's like trying to catch a greased chicken or something. I, that was ridiculous. We got him though. I just want to make sure we hurry up and get out there before it gets to, to daylight. We would be smart to set up... Oh, shoot, dude. This island is insane. This is beautiful. I like this island a lot. Like, I would call this island home. 100%. All right, got to be careful to make sure... I'm going to go ahead and drop this anchor just to be safe. Can't drop the anchor here. Um, let's let's drop all of our resources here. And we, we got to get out there before it gets too dark. Looks like our first shipwreck may be over here. Doesn't look like the biggest one in the world. There's no mast or anything like that, but even these little guys can produce sometimes. So we'll see. It's completely turned sideways. Hello. Don't mind if I do. I don't see anything up top. So first crate down. It's gonna be a good day. What time is it? 8.25. It would be smart for us to get a water still set up so it's making water for us throughout the day. Um, but I, I think we're going to be okay. I mean, we've got we've got plenty of, plenty of time. It's not even like we're hurting for it. Plus, we have that clay water bottle, which is going to come in clutch. All right, so I think we've got another one over here. Another two, it looks like. Maybe three. That's pretty good. Got corrugated scrap. Want to make sure we don't miss that when we get back on the island. Dude, we haven't even seen any sharks. Haven't received any uh, any sun poisoning or anything. Like, today has gone really well. We found the pig that we needed to be able to make the leather to be able to make our refined pick. Like, everything just seems to be coming together here. We're going to find Mr. Shark. He'd probably be out here, though, so we got to be careful. Not going to take that fishing spear. Gyrocopter parts. I think we might be able to make a gyro, dude. There's barrels back here. Don't need those. Nothing up top. I'm gonna start heading back in. Keep an eye out. We are in deep enough water. If he wanted to show up and party, he could. But it looks like we might be okay. I've got some more buoy balls over here. If we can climb up. 
And these things won't float away this time. We could just grab them and not have to chase them. Open up this door. Plank scrap, tarp, rations, and a compass. Um, I'm gonna drop the tarp and pick up the rations. I'm gonna put the cloth in there. We honestly don't even need the cloth either. We can make cloth at home with four, um, all it takes is four lashings, so we're gonna be fine. I'm, I'm really, I mean, let's go make our water still. We've got rocks and stuff out. Ooh, hello, beautiful. I'm gonna chase you down and kill you right now while we have you, while we've seen you, but you're gonna come in very, very handy. So I've dropped our inventory back there. I don't, actually, it looks like, looks like we do have one more. I was gonna say, I don't think we have any more of these but it looks like there is one here that has a little box on it if we can get to it see what we've got in here anything good might as well take it all right interesting there's a lot of fishing spears out here on this island have we named this island yet we could call it fisherman's island if you guys wanted yeah so i, I think we're done i think we're good to go i mean we're, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure we grab everything on the island. So I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna pick all the, the young palm trees, I'm gonna get all the yucca plants and stuff like that. Probably cut down a few trees, I'm gonna organize our whole inventory, make sure we have everything important, make sure we skin the boars, everything else. Uh, I don't know how much space we're gonna have left. If we have enough space, I'm down to do one more night and then we'll go on to the next island. There was one, that one right there, I think would be our next one we would go to. But I'm not sure that we're even going to have enough space to, to want to do that. Like enough storage space. We'll see. I think we already have quite a few good things. Uh, but we've just got to organize it and make sure it all works together. And make sure there's there's uh, ample space to, to make sense for going to another island. But we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to do this during the day. That way at night we can sleep and make our decision on where we're going to go next. We also could potentially... Go run back to um, to the last island and get those rocks, or we could just save that for another day because we know there's clay as well, so it's probably going to take up a lot of space. I don't know. We'll just see what our space situation is like, and I'll let you guys know once I've made a decision. Oh, look. There's a rock resource here, too. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I, I almost feel like all these islands have these deposits. I'm sure they've got tons of clay down there and stuff. We could just remember to come back to these two islands when we want to. I don't want to come back anytime soon. Shoot, we're getting some some cooldown notices. We can remember to come back and we'll just make it like a mining type of day. Kind of like today was kind of like a, a diving, exploring type of day. That might be interesting. This one had by far the most of these fibrous leaves out of any island I've ever seen, dude. Had three yuccas and all these leaves all over the place. This is ridiculous. Look at this. See like six of them just right here. All right guys, so I've made my decision on what we're gonna do and I I think we could go for it, dude. I think we could go for one more. We, uh, we aren't gonna go too crazy here. This is most definitely gonna be our last one, but I think we have time for one more. So let's, let's go ahead and let's go for it. I'm gonna go to the left of this counterclockwise of this. Dude, we have covered so much today. So we know we need to come back to this island, to go back to that island, to go back to Primo to go back home. This was Fisherman's Island, right? And it, it was off of Jungle. I, I Dude, I, I, I'm gonna have to like literally draw a map because it's getting a little bit ridiculous. But at least we know that if we follow the the, the little breadcrumb trail that we left home, we should be good. I think you we, we got a label maker, right? So we should start bringing that with us and then we could just like write on a tree with an arrow, like Primo that way, that kind of thing. But um, anyway, yeah, so we've got, a few more spots open. Uh, I thought about potentially making a new crude or a new uh, precision uh, pickaxe, whatever you want to call it. It takes quite a few lashings, and I, I don't know, dude. It, it would have been kind of a waste to make another one of those. So I think we're just gonna we're gonna make another trip out here at some point with the the goal to mine because we saw two rock formations on jungle. We saw two rock formations on Fisherman's Island back there. We know there's going to be clay around there and stuff, so we'll make a full-on underwater and, and mining kind of focused episode at some point. But um, we're looking pretty good here. This is going to be our final our final one. This is going to be day three of the trip, I believe. Hopefully our crops back home are holding up. Dude, I feel... Are we getting closer to the water? Do you guys feel like the water's kind of... It's kind of coming up on us, is it not? Are we getting a little bit too heavy? If so, that makes me a little... Maybe, I don't know. That makes me nervous. But we'll, we'll see. Hopefully we can hold out. But we're going to come to this island. I've already got like a pre-made uh, water still uh, case or crate so that we can just make the water still straight away. 
I think that's our biggest our biggest negative right now as you guys can see our water I mean our food is going down, but we have rations and stuff the water is the hard part So we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. This looks interesting. What is this? Oh, it changed Okay, it looked like it had like a skull and crossbones or something, but I don't think that's the case so Yeah, we're gonna hang out here one final day grab what we can explore the shipwrecks Fill up our inventory and then it's gonna be time to go. Yeah, dude. We are we are like nearly completely underwater at times This is nerve-wracking. We're gonna pull up lower the sail bring this bad boy up on land and check this out Dude, I'm kind of excited about this. We thought ahead here. So I'm gonna go like this and drop this and then drop that looks good Oh shoot. We've got one in our inventory. So let's go ahead and drop this bada bing bada boom now in here This is one of the two crates and here's the second one. So check this out. We can just immediately make ourselves a water still that points towards home, just like that. And then we even have the palm fronds that we need to be able to place them in there to make some water for us. So that's that's like mega clutch right there, dude. All right, let's go ahead and save. Let's try to find some snakes, see what kind of stuff we can find. As soon as daylight hits here in six hours, we're gonna make sure we go around and explore the shipwrecks. Honestly, I'm I'm anxious a little bit. I just wanna make sure we can get home. I feel like we're a long way from home. We've spent a lot of time out here. I'm a little nervous for the plants and stuff. Hopefully we're gonna be okay though. So this island, oh, that scared me. This island does have the, the rocks. And from what we know so far, that means snakes shouldn't be too far off. It's got a lot of rocks out here. That's good. Problem is that's going to make our thing extra heavy. Okay, I didn't see any snakes on the beach on our first go around. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Going to start venturing up into it a little bit more. We need to get our, our utilities, our utensils. Knife and an axe. All right, here we go. So I guess we could start collecting. Shoot, dude, the fact that we didn't see a single snake there messes with my head a little bit. We gotta be very careful. These guys are hard to see in the grass in the daylight, let alone at night. I mean, technically, if we get bit, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. We have plenty of pee pee back home, antidotes and stuff. Uh. Oh my god, dang it! Oh, come on! Where is he? I was just gonna say, but it wouldn't be good for my health. Where'd he go? Are you serious, dude? Well, we've been bit now, so we're just gonna have to roll with the punches. Where is he? Ugh. What the fudge? I don't see him at all. It sounds like he's right on top of us, but I don't see him. Ah, there he is. Little jerk. Can't believe we got bit, dude. We're not gonna be able to fix that for now. I'm assuming we were poisoned. Yeah, we've got poisoning, which means we're gonna have to watch out for our health even more so. Dude, that sucks. We haven't been bit in a while. Gotta make sure we remember to get these pigs too. All right, I'm just gonna grab whatever we can. We can be a little bit more reckless now because we're not trying to avoid, I mean, I'm still trying to avoid the snakes, but we've been bit, so it can't hurt us art any more than it already has. Actually, technically, I think they could. I, I think, I think it takes away health every time they do that. Looking for snakes. He's gonna be back in here somewhere, dude, for sure. I don't feel like tromping around in here in the night. He's gonna be back by the yucca trees or something. He knows what we like. He knows I can't resist a nice yucca. Let's go get this little dude. I really hope this, I, I think you use more food and water when you're poisoned. I'm not 100% sure, but I really hope this doesn't become a, an issue for us. I think we should be fine. I mean, we are gonna end up going straight home after this. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna make us a little campfire. We've got to make some kindling, just like that. We can go ahead and light this bad boy. We need to make sure we keep food on the fire. We've got two medium meats from that pig that we killed. And then I think uh, I think there's another pig on the island, so we'll be able to get two more pieces of hide plus the, um, plus the meat from that, so that should be good. So let's go ahead and throw that on the barbie. Drop these next to it. Um, everything else is looking okay. What time is it? 4.26. I mean, we just... We gotta make sure we keep this thing stocked, keep drinking water, keep doing our thing. Hopefully, hopefully everything works out for us. I'm just kinda waiting for sunrise though. All right guys, so the sun's coming up here. Gives me a little bit more bravery. I'm gonna start going in and trying to find this stupid snake, dude. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we got bit. I'm still kind of upset about it. Not that we even, I mean, there, there could, this could be an island with only one snake, that would be nice. A fella can dream. We're looking for the yucca. 
As soon as the sun's actually up in the sky and we have a little bit better visibility, that's when we're gonna, gonna go ahead and go diving. But things, I mean, overall, I feel like this, this one went pretty well. We got a lot of good stuff. I think we're set up. I think next episode we're gonna start building some engines. Uh, I believe we're probably good for both. I think I'm gonna start with the boat engines though. I just feel like that makes more sense to, to build a boat engine before you build an airplane. Uh, but both are definitely going to be coming soon, so this this should start to really ramp up a little bit. I'm excited about that. I only see two yucca plants, and I have not seen... I mean, if we're already bit, I just... I, I want the snake to bite me. I want to get the snake. I want, like, in the future when we come back here to have 100% confidence that there is no snake lurking about. And we don't currently have that. This is rough. That thing looks gnarly. I know that's like the bottom half of the ship, but it almost looks like it could be some sort of a crazy submarine or a spaceship or something. I'm not seeing a last snake. That's crazy, dude. Ooh, I see more rocks. That's nice. That's crazy. There's one snake on the island and it found us. Hopefully one snake. I don't know. But, um, all right, let's go ahead and grab the rest of these. I'm gonna organize up. By that time, it should be time to, to go go out in the water. So what's crazy is I don't think this water still is taking any, any fiber. That's really nice if that's the case. I'm not gonna lie. Cooked medium meat, we'll take that, and then we can eat it. We can throw the other one on there. Looks good. We've also got all these rations right here that we need to figure out something to do with. I'm gonna empty out our inventory, try to fill up as many of these crates as possible, and then uh, and then I think we're gonna go we're gonna go diving. Here we go. First shipwreck, big money, no whammy. I feel like the the very first island we went to was loaded with water stuff. You know, like good good parts out of the water and whatever else. The second one we went to, not so much. See what's in here. Ooh, we will definitely take that air tank. That's gonna be monumental for us. But yeah, the second one, we didn't really get all that much. So hopefully we get some better stuff here. We're already off to a good start. Uh, we also, I mean, we're like sweating and, and breaking out and stuff. Like we, we kinda need to get home at some point. We, we can't we can't sit out here for too long. Is that another island and shipwreck off in the distance? That's crazy. I don't even really see... Oh, no, I do see trees on the island. I was going to say, I don't even see trees on it, but no, that's a legit island. Um, looks like there's only two shipwrecks here, which is fine by me. Get in, get out quick, get home. Make sure we don't die. That's the name of the game. I have this interesting one here. That's not going to do us much good. Shoot. Oh, that's cool. The console's sitting there on the outside, but still nothing nothing good. Oh, what's up, fella? I think that's a little guy. All right, well, Disappointing Island is complete. Should we call it Disappointing Island? I feel like this is kind of Disappointing Island. I don't feel like that's a very good explanation of exactly what it is. We could call it Snakebite Island, but still, like, that, that doesn't give us a visual representation. We could call it S Stick and Rock Island. Tree and Rock Island. I have no clue, dude. All right, it's gonna be time for me to organize all this business, and then it's gonna be time for us to get out of here. Now that I think of it, I think I am gonna take an aloe salve here just to be safe. We are out in the sun. Dude, some of these aloe salves, I think, are even a little bit glitched, because sometimes they aren't disappearing on me, but I'm not gonna complain. But we're just, we're trying to see, we're trying to see what we should take back and what, sh what we should keep. I'm gonna organize all this, and I'll, I'll let you guys know when we're done. All right, so here's what's happening. All these are filled over here. All of these right here are filled, and then we have these four to fill up, because we can carry nine. Actually, hold on. One, two, three, yeah, four, five. So these four we need to fill up. I'm just gonna fill them up with wood. You guys know wood is always a useful thing for us. So I'm just, I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna chop down some trees, fill these bad boys up with wood. Uh, and then, I mean, I, I, think, I think we're gonna be good to get home. I'm hoping we can get home. I, I really do. We just had our ax break, wonderful. Gonna have to use this crappy axe from now. Uh, I, I really hope we could get home. I think we should be able to. I feel like we used a pretty good memory system. It's just we really branched out farther than I was intending today. But uh, we'll we'll see how it all shakes out. I'm looking forward to see what happens. I'll let you guys know when we're off. We might do some kind of a cool little like time lapse thing or something and see if we can uh, can make our way back. See how good of a pioneer we are. And right as the storm is ending, we are all good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to save. Then we're going to pick this up and let's throw it in here. Oops. Can't have it in our hands. Um, all these are all good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up these three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bada bing, bada boom. Dude, I wish we could have this water still back at home. Watch this. There's four waters to drink. You guys can see we have one water missing. One, I'm just gonna drink them all. Why not? One, two, three, four. Our water's full. Our food is full. Everything's full. And there's still, oh, it's it still has to, to make it, but it never, it never loses that. I, 
I don't know. It's like glitched, but it's working out. I thought it was still going to be full, but it wasn't. It's not as good as I thought. Uh, anyway, we are good to get out of here. We don't even have to worry about starfish because we're already poisoned. So uh, here we go. We're hopping up. Oh, we actually have... Hold on a second. We have, we have one more slot. I didn't realize we had one last slot. I thought we... We can carry nine plus one in our hands, so we can carry ten. Is this one empty? This one's empty. Oh, well. We could get some more wood if we wanted, but it's fine. I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I'm a little worried about weight. You guys know on the way over here, it was giving us a, a bit of trouble. So we'll see if this works. We're gonna go full steam ahead. All three sails are down. Gotta be careful when we jump here not to jump off and off we go. So this over here is Fisherman's Island. Then we're gonna be going to I forget the name of the other one. Then we're going to be going to Primo. Then we're going to be going home. I'm going to leave you guys with a little time lapse here. We're going to see if we can actually make this happen. Here we go. Okay, so we made it here and I'm a little bit lost already. Shoot. Let's drop the anchor. I mean, we're, we're a little far out. Where was our marker on this island? I, dude, there's, it's tough when you're trying to keep everything straight and organize everything and make sure everything's working out. Where was our marker? We just have to find the marker and then the marker should point us towards home. I thought it was going to be over here, but it's definitely not. Shoot, shoot, dude. Oh, it's here. We had bypassed it. So we need, we need to turn around and we need to go that way. All right, we got this. That's why we placed the markers. So I don't even think this is gonna take us necessarily towards home. I think this is gonna take us a little parallel to home. I think this should be taking us to jungle, right? Jungle will go to treasure and then from treasure to, uh, dude, I honestly don't even, I'm not even sure. We're just gonna follow these things home. Back to our cool little time-lapse. Dude, we are getting completely underwater. Sorry to interrupt this time, Les, where we There are times where there is a wave above where our crates are. I feel like that's not a good thing. Yeah, this in front of us is gonna be Jungle Island. So that means we're gonna be going straight back to Primo. Cause you guys remember we went from, from Primo, instead of going to Treasure, we went the opposite direction. We went to Jungle because jungle doesn't have the, uh, the the rocks and stuff on it. So Primo, I think should be somewhere out here. We're gonna look for our marker on this island and that should let us know. Bro, the shark can't get us when we're partially underwater, can he? Because that's something I would be a little bit a little bit concerned about. We're gonna look for our marker here. That's gonna take us back to Primo and then from Primo we should be able to get home. The one thing I do like about this game is it truly does give you the sense of scale of the ocean. Obviously this is, you know, one hundred thousandth of the actual size of the ocean or one one millionth or I don't even know what the actual scale would be, but it just gives you that like hopeless you're lost out in the middle of nowhere. You have no clue where to go type of feeling, which is kind of cool. So now we, we need to find our marker for this island. I see a couple islands in front of us. I don't, I don't think that's where we're going. I see some stuff on the beach over here. Maybe that is where we're going. Yep. All right. Dude, our health is at half. <laughs> oh, I laugh, but uh, it's because I'm nervous. Home's this way. This is this is Primo over here. We can see our lights off in the distance. This looks like a fun island. We're gonna have to come back here. That's a big boy. Big boy of a ship sticking out of the water right there. Man, I can't believe we went the wrong direction. See, that's what I'm talking about. Even when you have your markers, like it's hard to see unless you have very specific landmarks. This shark is creeping on us again, dude. You know what? Next episode, we're building a boat. We're building a motorboat and we're gonna go kill our first shark. I'm calling it right now. I'm tired of this dude messing with us. I'm tired of worrying about him. I'm gonna send a message to him and his family and they're still gonna stalk us around and mess with us because that's just how this game goes. But yeah, anyway, back to the time lapse. There's the old 
crate of Primo. That's the uh, that's the landmark we were looking for. Not to mention we could see our lights off in the distance. I feel like that's kind of a little bit cheap. But I mean, they they only show up if you're close enough. So I, I don't think it's bad. Dude, this guy is like still sticking with us here. Okay, anyway, we're gonna make it home. We, we made it happen, boys. This was our biggest haul yet. Our first ever run with our new cargo ship, which worked pretty well. I feel like overall we came out with some really good stuff. We got poisoned, but we... Hopefully didn't die. Fingers crossed. I think we're going to be able to get home and make the antidote in time. And, uh, ooh. As long as we don't sink on the way, we should be fine. So I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said, be ready to, uh, to, to put your big boy pants on and go take out a shark tomorrow or two days from now. It's going to be a fun one. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.